as Wyndham prepares for its final game of the regular season, a must-win matchup with Westbrook. A familiar face is in an unfamiliar setting. Logan Jordan, the longtime team manager, is out to fulfill a dream that once seemed impossible. Um, I was born with hypoplastic left heart syndrome, which means I have only half my heart functions. It does all the work for both sides. And so I have two chambers instead of four, which is what the play is actually called, two chambers. And I've had three surgeries, numerous catheterizations, had a pacemaker put in when I was nine. I, just, uh, I take medication every day, and I don't know what it really feels like to be normal, so it's not really a struggle to me. I just know I get tired more quick and take longer to do stuff than normal people and take my meds and live the life I know how to live it. For four years, Logan has manned the sidelines for the Eagles as the manager, but the senior has become an integral part of the Wyndham Eagles football program. Um, actually, I was in eighth grade. I was hoping I would have a middle school wrestling team, and uh, Coach Perkins came over with one of his football players to do the clock. He asked me if he knew I was coming to high school, if I'd be interested in helping the team. I didn't really like football or know much about it, but I said I'd give it a shot, and I've loved it ever since. Uh, he was in eighth grade, and he was working a wrestling tournament, and uh, being assistant athletic director, I was over there running the, uh, the meet, and started talking to him and just asked him if he wanted to help out and be a manager for us, and next year he was with us, and uh, he's been with us ever since. Day to day during practice is getting all the equipment down to the field and balls on time, getting water and filling it for each drill and everything. On game days, it, there's more to it, such as getting the headsets and all the balls set up for practice and everything. You know, practice, he's, he's always in charge of the water, equipment, any issues that come up during practice, he takes care of it. You know, any little thing I may need, he's got it taken care of. You know, Thursdays, he knows that he takes care of the headsets, he's got to do stuff for the next day. Uh, game day, everything's ready to go. I don't have to look for anything. So he just, he takes care of all that stuff that I don't have time to deal with. But I personally don't know any better with him not being around here. Uh, ever since I've been here, he's been here. So technically speaking, he's the veteran over me on the staff. Uh, but he, what he does is just immeasurable. Um, and a lot of it is stuff that you just don't think about. It just gets done by him without even anybody saying anything to him. And just like we're on the field, the little things are what's going to make you a state champion and what's going to make you a winner. And I think the little things he does off the field helps us out as well. As practice for the Eagles continues, Logan warms up on the sidelines. His idea to be part of at least one play in his final game has been a long time in the making. Well, I saw it on ESPN some point last year. It was a kid with kidney problems and he kicked extra points. He was a manager for his team and he kicked extra points in his senior night. So I talked to Brooke about it last year and see if it was possible and Dan said, yeah, sure. Whatever. And then it more throughout this year, we've taken the actual steps to make it happen. He had mentioned at the beginning of the year that he would like, you know, one play, you know, just to be out there like everybody else. And uh, we looked at doing the extra point or a field goal. It's just one of those moments that, you know, I don't think we can control it. You know, someone coming off the edge, and it's not fair to ask the other team to not go hard. Because if you want a real play, then, then let's have a real play. So we went down this week and spoke to Westbrook. Uh, their coach is a great guy. Talked to him and their team. And uh, Logan was, was great. You know, he was really excited we did. We had a chance to talk to them guys, just tell them about it and, and why he's doing it and the whole thing. So it was a pretty neat experience for talking to them. For one night at least, Logan's presence on the sideline with his teammates will not be accompanied with water or towels, but shoulder pads and a helmet. It's great. I mean, they really take me in well, and I love it, and it's fun to pick on them, and they take on me right back. He's been dynamite for us. I've said forever, he's the hardest working guy on game day. Um, he still thinks he's my boss, but uh, you know, he's, he's been awesome. Just a great kid, and just really neat you know, to, to be around him. He's a lot of fun most of the time. And uh, it's going to be a neat thing tomorrow night if we score in the second half, which we better give him a chance and uh, get him off the field without him getting lit up. All Logan means a lot to the team. I mean, just with what he's done ever since you know he came as a freshman, you know, from being a water boy and everything like that, and really helping out the team. So, and just just being able to want to play and everything like that, I think it's just awesome for him. Uh, it'll be a real shocker, but it should be fun. And I mean, I'm happy for the kid. 
I think uh, anyone who plays currently or has played, you look back and realize how fragile it is and how lucky you are to play sports. You know, and everybody takes it for granted. It's, it's cool that he's gonna have that moment. Uh, some of them think it's funny to see me in pads, which I'm sure it is. But they're all being nice and they're all excited and I'm excited to do it. It's, it'll be a little sad. I mean, we, freshman year I was on varsity and we went one and eight and it just progressed throughout my four years here and it's sad to see it go by so quick. It'll be pretty cool. I've been cheering everybody on for four years and now people will be cheering me on. It'll be neat. Game night arrived and Logan led the team onto the field. During senior night festivities, Logan embraced his coach and his family, wearing the uniform of the team he's managed for four years. As the game entered the third quarter, quarterback Cody LeBurge would scamper into the end zone for a touchdown that not only secured Wyndham a place in the playoffs, but would allow Logan to take the field for his big moment. In the record books, the October 22, 2010 game against Westbrook will have a W in the win column. But for those in attendance, and for those who have watched number 46 faithfully patrol the sideline for win of football for the last four years, it will mean much more. They'll remember that on a late fall night, a young man, who some may call a miracle, played football for the Wyndham Eagles and left the field on the shoulders of teammates.